Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Adaptive Training Academy Strength and Conditioning Workout. Do not fear. We have many different, as Carolyn mentioned, adaptations, variations, ways to customize the workout and the movements for your ability. All that's important is that we move together for the next 30 minutes and we get a little fitness in. Maybe sweat a little bit, get our heart rate up, and that's what we're here to do, all right? So first things first, I'm going to take a step back and let's just go ahead and start with some big breaths. Let's sit upright, stand upright, wherever we are, seated or standing athletes. So let's take some big inhale through the nose, about 10 seconds through the nose and out through the mouth. So big inhale through the nose and I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Exhale out of the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go ahead and take our shoulders into some big rotations, big circles backwards. Really emphasizing when we get back, driving our shoulders down, forwards, up to our ears, and back and down. Forwards, up to our ears, back and down. All right, a couple more of those. Let's take them forwards. Big shoulder shrug forwards, up to our ears, forwards, and down. Nice job, gang. Couple more forwards, all right, relax the shoulders. And then just some head circles. So let's just say, hello, neck. How are we feeling? A good little neck stretch can go a long way. We want to tell the body, tell the joints that we're here. We're ready to work out. It's Friday. We've worked hard this week, ready for the weekend. All right, gang, let's take our arms, stick our arms out by our side. Reach them out as far as we can. And let's start with little circles forwards. Little slow circles forwards. Like you got Sharpies on your fingertips and you're just drawing little tiny circles on each wall next to you. Little circles forward, nice job. Don't shrug up the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Little circle forward, good. Now let's go ahead and take those little circles backwards. Little circles backwards, keep going. There we go. And now let's take these circles, big, big circles backwards. Nice job. And stop. And forwards, big circles forwards. Keep them going. Oh, I know. Those shoulders are burning. Hello, shoulders. We're bringing some blood to the shoulders, letting them know we're going to work. All right. And relax those arms. Relax those arms down. Nice job. Swing them back and forth, left and right, forward and backwards. Love yourself. Some cross body hugs, you know. Tell yourself, hey, pat yourself on the back. You're here. You showed up. Ready to work. Fitter for it. Do your best. Forget the rest. You hear me say that often, gang. Just push yourselves. But no, your best effort is all we're looking for here. All right, now let's also hinge forward. So the best of our ability, if we're seated and we're in a chair, we're gonna hinge forward as far as we can, maybe to our knees and push ourselves back up. If we're standing, we're just gonna focus on pushing our butt back and hinging until we can feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstring and the glute. So let's get about 10 reps of hinging forward to the best of our ability as far as we can, and then sitting up, a little bit of speed, all right? A few more if we can. Lean forward and up, forward and up. All right, and lastly, let's take our shoulder, take our hands from shoulder to overhead. So I wanna just put our thumbs onto our shoulders, point our thumbs at our shoulders. From here, let's slowly, as slow as possible with me, maybe a five second count, it reach overhead, so one, Two, three, four, five. Full extension as far as we can reach. Hold, hold, hold up overhead as far as we can. As high as we can, hold it. And let's descend five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And back up. And one, two, three, four, five. Reach overhead. Now that those arms are extended, or as far as we can, get them overhead. Think about shrugging that shoulder up a little bit more. Can we get that bicep near that ear? A little bit more. Good, good, good. Hold, hold, hold. 
and start to descend, slow descend. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. All right, and rest, rest. All right, gang, there's a specific warm up we're about to do now called the Flower Challenge. All right, so this is the song. This song, if you've ever heard of it, it says over and over, bring Sally up, bring Sally down. You might know the song when you hear it, or you might not, you might have never heard the song, but what we're going to do is put a movement with the song. So if you're standing, if you're with me and you're standing, we're gonna be performing a squat. So in the song, when the song says, bring Sally up, you will come up from the squat. When it says, bring Sally down, you will descend and hang out and stay in the bottom of the squat until it says up. For our seated athletes, we're going to perform a shoulder to overhead. So like you just did with our hands, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more here as a seated athlete, add some weight. Maybe you have a backpack with something in it. Maybe you have some small books you can hold or even water bottles. A little bit of light weight can go a long way. Uh, moderate weight is even better. But for seated, shoulder to overhead, even if we have no objects, that's quite all right as well. We're simply going to do the same thing, but when we say bring Sally up, hands will go overhead and we'll hold. Bring Sally down, we will hold our hands at our shoulders. Not rest them in our lap, but hold the hands at our shoulders the best we can, okay? If we can't reach up overhead, we don't have much range of motion to extend overhead, we're gonna go from our shoulders, those fingers and hands being at our shoulders, reaching out in front as far as we can. Again, if you have a little light object, a water bottle or something, that's great. If not, no worries, we do not need it. So the song, is gonna get started. As soon as it starts, you should be able to hear it, but if not, no worries, just stick with me. When I stand up, you stand up or press up. When I squat down, you bring your hands down or squat down with me, okay? Here we go, gang, this is my favorite warm up. all right? I'm super excited about this. Bring Sally up, here we go. Bring Sally up, bring Sally down. Down. Nice job, bros. 
shoulders or in the legs because goodness gracious mine are pumped up right now so gang that is a, a little tip or trick personally I love that song anyways but how cool is it you can just throw that song on and apply any movement any sort of movement a push-up a, a press a Russian twist anything like that so it's a great way to incorporate some fun music and get get the heart rate going so I think we're warmed up. Whew, that actually made me breathe a little bit heavy. So let me tell you a little bit about this fun little workout we're gonna do. So it's called an AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible. Just some terms we use at adaptive training. But what we're gonna do is move for 10 minutes. Now the movements we're going to do, if we're standing, we're gonna do push-ups, air squats, and jumping jacks. The reps that we'll do are five push-ups, 10 air squats, and 20 jumping jacks. When we complete that, when we do five, 10, 20, we're gonna go right back and start five push-ups again, 10 air squats, 20 jumping jacks. So the word AMRAP, as many reps as possible, is just a way of saying in 10 minutes, how many times can you go through that whole round, that whole set of movements and keep moving for 10 minutes. So the intention is not three, two, one, let's go as fast and hard as we can, but instead three, two, one, let's move at a speed where we don't stop for 10 minutes. That's the goal. That's the intention behind today's movements. Let me share with you some seated options. So for our seated athletes, instead of five push-ups, hey, if you can transition out of your chair into push-up position quickly, then go for it. But if instead of transitioning out of our chair, we want to stay in our chair, in our seat, instead of the push-ups, we can take, like we just did in that uh, song workout, our objects, our dumbbells, and go shoulder to overhead. We can do five reps shoulder to overhead, or we can do five reps shoulder to reach out in front, or we can even do five reps with an object from the floor to overhead or from our lap raised out to eye level. All right, so there are some different options for our seated athletes for that first movement of a push-up if we're not transitioning to the floor for the push-up. We can still get that shoulder focus, that same muscle focus and movement pattern with a raise or a press forward or a press overhead. For a seated, instead of squats, we'll be forming dips. So if you're seated in a chair, simply pressing up out of that chair and descending, pressing out of that chair. If you can slide out of your chair, here's just an example. You have some function or ability and the shoulder strength to support. And you're in the chair, and let's say you do the five shoulder to overheads, we can then do 10 squats or 10 dips, either pressing just out of the chair and, and your butt sitting back in the chair or coming off the edge of your chair if you feel you have the strength and ability to do so. 20, instead of jumping jacks, our seated athletes will perform what's called a Russian twist. So if you had an object for those shoulder to overheads, maybe you just take one of those objects, hold it with your hands together, you'll be seated, and reaching both hands to either side of your wheels or your chair as far as you can to either side, getting a torso twist. And these reps start to go pretty fast once we get in the rhythm of them. So it's 20 reps of that. And then again, right back into the five shoulder to overhead or five raises and to 10 dips. Does that make sense, everybody? So the reps are five, 10, 20. And again, I'm going through this workout with you. I'll keep you on pace and on track on what movement you might be on and what the reps are. All right, gang. Let me reset the clock. 
I'm going to put on some music. It's always nice to work out the little music. And we're going to get started. All right, gang. Remember, we're only moving for 10 minutes. We're going to start with the five push-ups or five shoulder to overheads. We're going to start in 10 seconds. And I'm right here with you. Might take a round or two to get comfortable. Find your pace. Find your rhythm. Here we go. Five push-ups or five shoulder to overheads. Into those 10 dips or 10 squats. Nice job. Into 20 jumping jacks or 20 Russian twists. Nice job, gang. Nice job, guys. All right, finish those jumping jacks and twists. Right back into those presses. There you go. Right back into those dips or squats. Find your pace. Stick with it, gang. And into those jumping jacks, or those Russian twists. There you go. Nice job, bros. Nice job, Leo. Keep it up, gang. Keep moving. There you go. Nice job, gang. Keep it up, keep it up, looking great. Woo! Go. Woo! Keep going, gang. We got a while. I know we're flying. We're only about three minutes in. Here we go, gang. Find a good pace. Just keep moving, keep moving. It's only 10 minutes.
Nice job, Rose. You go, Leo. Let's go, gang. Woo, nice job. Right back in. If you're joining us, jump right in. 10 minutes of work. We're about halfway through. Five push-ups or five shoulders overhead. Right into 10 air squats for 10 dips. Woo! Right into 20 jumping jacks for 20 Russian twists. And keep going, gang. Keep that repetition going. We're over halfway. Over halfway. That's it, gang. This is where the real, the real fitness happens near the end of these workouts. Can we keep moving? Can we just keep moving through? That's it. Take a few seconds if you need to in between movements. Take a couple deep breaths. Jump right back in. Let's go. That's it. Get close. Keep going. Get to that next round. Nice job, team. Doing great. Awesome movement. Keep it up. Come on, gang. Stick with me. Don't slow down yet. We're almost done. Just two and a half minutes left. Come on, come on. We got it. We got it, man. We can do it together. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Last two minutes, gang. Come on. Come on. 120 seconds. That doesn't make it sound too long, right? If you do anything for 120 seconds.
for it, guys. That's right. Don't stop now. All the way through the end. I'll tell you when. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on. Come on. Go fast. Push it, push it. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one. Time. Rest. Get some water. Drink some water. Catch your breath. Oh my goodness. Rose, Leo, Vincent, killing it. You guys were killing it. Carolyn, you too. Oh, I see you over there, girl. Awesome job, gang. Hey, round of applause to you guys. This is a hard workout. Hard workout. Great job. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, I was I'm right there with you. I'm pouring sweat, man. I, I was feeling that one. Woo! Okay, collect your breath, sip of water. We're not done yet, gang. If you've been with me before, Leo knows we always like to cool down. We like to recover before we depart from here. Just as important as the fitness, how we collect ourselves, how we think about the muscles, the movements we just did, a lot of them, right? There's a lot of dips, a lot of shoulder to overhead. The shoulders are going to be sore tomorrow. So let's just take some time and go through some stretches. Similar to our warm up, let's start once we've got our breath back. Let's start with just some back slaps. So just some big hugs. And you can hold this if you want to. If you reach across, you just want to hold. Kind of hang out here for a second, rock back and forth. You can do this too. Go ahead and stretch for up and back. And you're just hugging yourself. This is just a good place to be. Just say, hey, Good job, you. Good job, you. You did this today. All right, let's relax those arms down by our side. Let's take one arm, reach it across our body, and use our other arm, so it's hard for me to show. But yep, just like Rose there, reach that arm up underneath the other arm and pull it across your body. I use something like a wall or a rig. Just hang out here for about 15 seconds. Good, and swing that out and do it across the other arm as well. While you're in the middle of this stretch, take some deep breaths if you can. Really intentionally, uh, I always think about this, in through the nose, out through the mouth if you can. So big inhale. That process of long, slow breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, helps, helps return our bodies to homeostasis, to the place where we are recovering and relaxed. So it's really great to implement that sort of breath work right after exercise. And you know your heart rate's still a little high, maybe you've collected your breath enough, you're not, <laughs> start that. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, come out of that stretch, gang. Let's take our arms back and forth, just some swings, couple swings. Then let's reach up overhead, both arms up overhead. Take one arm, either arm doesn't matter, bend at the elbow, and let's grab that elbow with the other hand. There we go, yep. Let's open up that lat, the shoulder, big deep breaths here as well. And switch, other arm. All right, and relax, gang. And a couple big head circles. Nice and slow, really exaggerating the head roll. And that's it, gang. 
round of applause to you all. Thank you so much. Truly, brought my heart. Thank you for being here. Thank you for putting forth the work. Leo, Rose, thank you all for having your screens up. It was awesome to see you all moving. It was inspiring nonetheless for me to be working out alongside you. So that was an awesome one. Thank you.